Welcome to the Thai capital, a cacophony of sound, colour, cuisine and glinting waterways. Bangkok is the world's most visited and hottest city. Our venue here, the colossal Impact Arena, playing host to our continuing badminton coverage all week. After a tough 2020 that saw the culling of most tournaments, the badminton world has successfully rebounded back into action. Last Sunday, we saw the crowning of the Yonex Thailand Open champions. Today, heralds day four of the Toyota Thailand Open, both super thousand level events, offering a cool million US dollars in prize money. Action car one eights with the belated HSBC BWF World Tour finals starting next Wednesday, the 27th of January. Well, day four's quarterfinals Friday. Order of play, if doubles is your thing, fill your boots this morning. We're starting off with an Indonesian-Malaysian mixed doubles battle featuring the six seeds, Faisal and Wijaya, who will be licking their lips now that two strong teams have been swept aside, making their path to the semi-finals look a lot smoother. In their way today, though, are Hu Panrong and Cha Yisi. From one mixed doubles treat onto another, Ranki Reddy and Panapa have shared the last four matches with the fifth seeds Go and Tan, and the Indian ranking underdogs won the most recent battle. The Olympic silver medalist Go and Tan will be under siege again today. Match three is a women's doubles featuring the fifth seeds and champions of last week's Yonex Thailand Open, Grecia Poli and Apriana Raheyu. Between them in a semi final spot are two powerful Danes, Alexander Boyo and Mirti Poulsen. Then in match four, last week's women's singles champion heads headlines the uh, early singles action on court two. Carolina Marin, the fifth seed, seeks a fourth successive win over the tournament's sole Turkish athlete, Neslihan Yidjit. And then mi mi match five is an all Malaysian women's doubles dust up. And then for those singles purists, cast your eye over those matches seven, eight and nine, where we have Tai Tsu Ying taking on Michelle Lee of Canada, the eighth seed, followed by men's singles clash. A real juicy, mouth-watering opportunity there. Wang Su Wei against Chu Tian Chen, all Chinese Taipei. And while well, Wang is at zero and seven against Chu, never beaten him before, is today going to be his lucky day. Hans Christian Vitingus of Denmark, doing so well to come through yesterday's match, takes on Li Chuk Yu. Big opportunity there for both as well. So semi-final up, up for grabs today. In our 20 matches, 20 quarter-final matches, the spotlight shines bright across just two match courts today. Who will it be that safely navigates their way into semi-final Saturday? All will be revealed by this evening. 20 matches on two courts, starting off with an Indonesian-Malaysian mixed doubles battle. There we are, there's the draw sheet. And uh, as you see there, Surprisingly, no uh, Jordan and Octavianti. They've been swept out of the way, as have uh, Jiquel and Del Rue, the French. So it's going to be Fizel and Wijaya against Hu Panrong and Chia Yisi. On court two, mixed double quarter final. So the bottom half of the draw, the path has been cleared of those two tough pairings. The French semi-finalists of last week and the runners-up as well, Jordan and Octavianti. So uh, these two will be absolutely delighted in there. But they've got to get through this match first to take advantage. On walks uh, Hafiz Fezal and Gloria Emmanuel Wajaya, the world number eights and sixth seeds. We have been as high as sixth in the world uh, in so July 2019. And Hu Pang Rong, 22 years old. And Cha Yisi, 25 years old from Malaysia, following him. Played once before this team. And I can tell you that the Indonesians won. That was in the Yonex Chinese Taipei Open in 2019, in uh, September of that year. So, uh, 18 months or so ago that was. And I can tell you that uh, Fezal and Wijaya came through 21 18, 21 13. Okay, 
what do you choose? Black or red? Red. So black is going to you. Red. You want to be right side. And what do you want? Receiver or server? Service. Who will serve? You serve. And who will receive? You will receive, okay. So Gloria pointing the finger towards her face. He's going to receive first at the near end. And I think it was Chia EC of Malaysia that's going to be serving. Nice clear umpiring. We like that. Even under a mask. Sometimes hard to hear, but not in that case. Good clear Iranian, Iranian umpire. Twenty-six years of age from Jakarta, born and bred. World eighth ranked pair. And the sixth seeds here, these two. They've had a good run so far down to Rivaldi and Mentali of Indonesia. Can they creep past this Indonesian pairing today as we say hello to uh, Gloria Emmanuel Wijaya, a year older. One meter eighty-two, very tall, rangy athlete from Bekasi. In India, in Indonesia, I beg your pardon. And uh, after downing Rivaldi and Mentari on Wednesday, they then uh, took out the Canadians. Fulbert Yu and uh, Josephine Wu. Both straight game affairs. Not much longer than uh, half an hour needed on either. So they're in form. And uh, looking good. Wrong. 22 years old, 1 meter 78. And uh, well, they've been a couple of spots higher on the rankings, but uh, not far off it. Really are playing some uh, good badminton right now. 35 in the world. Three title wins. All in India. They like playing in India, the Malaysians. They took the Hy Hyderabad Open title in 2019, plus a couple of international challenge events in India as well, and twice semi-finalist at the M Macau Open, as we say hello to Chia Yisi, who's three years older at 25, born in Penang, and uh, was up to 17 in the world with Chan Fun Sun, who of course partners Go Yu Ying these days, and that was their path through, good win over the French in their second match yesterday straight game win 21 14 21 16 they had a really good flat game by all accounts and got on the attack first against the french who were rather sort of rushed into error there 40 minute affair it was but of course it was the french that downed octivanti and uh, and um praveen jordan in their opening battle so okay. all changed down the bottom half of the mixed doubles draw so can the seeds in light blue with their backs to us take advantage of Ladies and gentlemen, opening up? On my the wife, call hand, Gloria Emanuel with Jaya and Hafiz Faisal, Indonesia. And on my left, Hu Pang Ron and Chaya Yisi, Malaysia. Chaya Yisi to serve to Gloria Emanuel with Jaya. Love all. Play. Oh. Oh. One love. <coughs> oh. Oh. A certain star. Certain soul. Office. Oh. So the team in red and black from Malaysia just uh, hoping to continue that theme of terrific play with a good straight game win over the European semi-finalists of last week's tournament the Two, Alex Thailand one. Open they were taking the distance in their opening match Thank you. Hey. down uh, 
Smith ready. And uh, his sister. Tight three game affair, 21 13 in the third after 55 minutes. Jaya blanket like Three. over the net there. Making her presence felt reading that uh, play so quickly. Ah. Well, a couple of back to back Three. shanks there from Hupang Ron. Nothing coming out of the middle, seemingly. Unlike him. Got their team into trouble there. He looks down vacantly at the racket as if to say, well, what was that? Todd? Oh, yeah, she is sharp. Six, three. And she's really confident and expressive. The wingspan is huge. Done by Chuck. Four, six. Ah, <laughs> oh, string went, rendering a, a, a lack of control on the smash. We see it. Seven. All the time, oh. don't we? Such okay. a shame. He'd set the point up so well. Got in on the attack really quickly in the point. Set the tempo. Lost control. Well, of course, the sixth seed, something that we haven't mentioned already, are sort of trying to make amends after the Yonex Thailand Open. They lost first round to Ranky Reddy and Ponapa there, 21-16, after 72 minutes. So uh, this is much better this week from, from them. Trying to build on that and accrue some serious points on this three-week Asian leg. So much opportunity here for the players. Prize money as well. It's been a lean phase for everybody. Now a chance to make amends, but it's all high pressure. Persistent Five. from the Malaysians, keeping up the tempo. And uh, immaculate in defence here. Eight out of the last ten points, the seeded duo from Indonesia. Oh! Six, ten. Now can 
Chayisi help stop the rot and really get some momentum going from the Malaysians. Oh, that's really nice. Flat hard drive from Afis Fezal. And a five point cushion they have. The seeds looking good then in the offing here out on two. Fezal and Wajaya head to an 11 6 lead at the mid game interval after just six minutes played. Well, the Indonesians will be delighted the way that this uh, opening 17 points have shaken out. Confusion in the camp. 11, A feast to serve rather than Gloria. Play. Umpires on the ball. Play. Oh, nicely done. Lovely. Subtle little Play. angle there, taking Six. all the pace out of that one. Lovely cross net. Let's see it again. Here she goes. She's moving forwards. Beautifully taken. been a little bit jittery hasn't he who pang ron what with the cert the string break as well this needs to settle down into this he's trying to rush his way through but of course in doing so almost rushing himself 14 6. A wonderful clear just inside the back line from Hafiz uh, Fezal. Perfectly weighted and measured. Looking pretty comfortable right now, aren't they? And she's got a lovely sort of relaxed look about her, a very calm demeanour, which is good to have alongside under pressure. Turn from who? Youngest man on court, just 22 years of age, just starting to really settle down. Takes a while with plenty at stake. They did so well to take Gloria Wijaya out of the game for so long, but then in the end, she managed to intervene here nicely. Hafiz Fezal, very patient. And there we get it. Setting the point up beautifully here with a little injection of pace. So it's a, a lopsided look to this opening game. In favour of the seeds here, they will be delighting in the scoreboard situation right now inside. Play.
eight, seven. Well, he's plenty of power, hasn't he? Hupang Ron. That was laden with it. Been a few too many unforced errors today from this youngster. But of course, it's all learning experience. Lovely return from Chia Yisi. Those deep brown eyes hide a really competitive spirit from Gloria Wajaya. Well done, lovely cross block off Nine the smash. Nine. The Malaysians aren't quite twinning with effect as they did yesterday. They came out of the blocks really fast against Jiquel and Del Rue. Finding it hard to uh, cut and paste today. He didn't like that one. 10, 19. Nice flick serve. Got it where he wanted it. Oh. Well, they are at the fast end in their defence, the Malaysians. Point. And uh, it's easy to overcook and hit beyond the back line. We've seen a few of these. 10 game points for Fizal and Wajaya. Make that nine. Clever flick serve. Nicely Twelve. disguised. 20. But you do sense there's inevitability about this uh, opening game at this stage, really, on the scoreboard. There's uh, too much deficit to pedal back from you sense against the seeds anyhow and there it is lovely soft-handed touch from Gloria Wajaya First game, and Hafiz Faisal secure the opener Gloria with uh, a little bit more Wajaya. tidy badminton all round I guess you'd say strong showing from the seeds 21-12 they take the opener inside quarter of an hour Well, Fizal and Wajaya have done a really good job at keeping the other Malaysian woman out of the game. At the net, sort of playing around her really much more successfully than the other way round. You see, struggling to intervene and get involved. And who has just been, well, just a little bit too erratic so far. I'm sure he'll make amends here, but they're at the slower end. 
So the two seats from Indonesia, halfway home to a spot in the semi-finals. Can they continue in game two? Hafiz Fizal. The other end from the Malaysians, Two, and now Gloria's one. got the disease as well, hasn't she? It's just so easy to overpress from, and that's uh, faster of the two ends. But it's been a far more trusting start from the six seeds and their opponents today. I <laughs> feel good about what's unfolded in the opener. Oh. And of course. Pro sports a funny old thing, isn't it, with two, these psychological oh. dynamics as well? Because, you, you know, from the perspective of the Ma Sorry. Malaysians, you played so well yesterday, all they want to do is just repeat, really. But today's a different day, and you can almost sense that between them, they're just almost overpressing, kind of fighting the river a little bit. And it's so hard, isn't it? You've got to relax and just trust yourself. But at the same time, you, you know, with so much at stake, it, it's so easy to force. Brilliant from the Indonesians, Three, keeping two. the pressure on, mixing the attack lines nicely, giving their opponent so much variety. It's tough to get a read on them right now. They're looking really fresh in their outfit, like it. Kind of like a Manchester City blue, isn't it? And a vibrant neon sleeve as well. That's no nonsense from Hafiz. It was all over that, wasn't he? Two. Closing forward after every smash as well. Beautifully done. That'll give him some confidence. Hu Pang Ron there really asserting himself. This was nice. They needed injection of pace at some stage. That was good. Lovely flat hard forehand. Service error from Fizal. Well done, got up to that one nice and quickly, ever so alert. Six, four. Nicely done. Swing and a miss. You sometimes Four. see it, maybe lost it under the lights, giving him the BOD, the benefit benefit of the uh, of doubt. Let's see what he was trying to do. Eight. Four. 
just wanting it a little bit too much today. <laughs> it's so tough, isn't it? Just haven't brought anywhere near what they did yesterday. They were outstanding. Who and Chow. Just need a little window in the clouds, a little ray of sunshine to cling on to. Maybe that will help. But you do sense at the moment they're still a fair way away. Can they create and build something from somewhere? This is good. Stepping off stage, just collecting time and thought. Just need to slow down and grab a little moment to breathe, relax, enjoy. Find that narrow thought bridge to the zone. Can only take a couple of thoughts with you. Found it. Much better. Six, eight. Sometimes when you're like that, it's all about stilling the eyes down and just getting to that calm place and just trusting yourself, watching the shutter a little closer. Oh. 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 Again, Hafiz Fazal penetrating Nine, the Malaysian six. defences and adding to the insurance on the scoreboard. Well, she knows it's probably coming to her. Ah. But it doesn't okay. make it any easier sometimes. Well played. Bullying his way through that point. As he did Nine. so well yesterday against the Europeans. Now, will that activate him and help him find his pin code? been a real grapple today for Hu Pang Bong and Chiu Yi Si, unable to engineer in either game so far a run of three consecutive points. Better. But of course they're not as familiar as playing in the you know the big arenas as the to the far end. That looked like they were. Very high quality finish there. Well done. Starting to rebuild. And I like the energy and the roaring as well. That really helps elevate the team. Let your partner know that you're right in for this. All in. Got some skin in the game. She knows that. Of course she does. But it's nice to have that confirmation. There is their first run of three consecutive points for the Malaysians. That's a good sign. Now, if they can get to the turn with a one-point advantage, that would serve them really well. But it's a big if. Deadlock on the scoreboard, encouragingly, for the team in red and black. Nice try from 
picture you 11, see, but 10, Gloria Emanuel, with, uh, with all of her experience, she's seen this set play a number of times and was uh, open to find the chasm on the court. So it is indeed, as it was in the opening game, the Indonesians that head to the mid-game interval with a slender advantage this time, just one point in it, 11-10. Well, we've seen some spirited resistance of late from uh, who and chat. Eleven. Can they get their teeth into this right now? It's a must-win game for the Malaysians. They're under a lot of pressure, but they have been elevating their standard of late. Blistering, plenty of chilli on that. That's like an injection of pace, doesn't he? He's, might be only a short fella, but he's laden with power and strong in the core and legs. Only a fast twitch muscle fibre. Well, the way he looked back, just denoting that he thought there that it might have gone over the back line and was a bit hesitant to play it. And, uh, well, with that little element of doubt in your mind, it's not always easy. <laughs> Didn't fully commit to that smash. <laughs> well played. Oh. Very alert. Starting to get a little bit more involved around the net now, courtesy of her backcourt player in Hulpan Rong. It's been a lot more solid of late. Things are evolving nicely for the Malaysians. Deadlock again in game two. She was really playing well, wasn't she, in the early portion of the point. Couldn't quite get that one to the deck. Then they had to rebuild.
brilliant from Gloria. 50, She's got 13. such a sense of calm, this young lady. And all is well with the world when you look into those deep brown eyes. There's such a poise and elegance about her. Class. <laughs> He's the, uh, the energizer bunny, isn't he, behind the, the fire starter at the back. Well done. Service sold. 14, 15. Fully aware that they don't want to run out of time. He's bringing his best right now. That was a fairly routine situation for him in the end but one in which he engineered and there was electric foot pace around that you stay over there I'm going there enough Are they, they, they must be married <laughs> Sometimes on these days as a young pro, it's just about doing whatever you can to stay afloat. So uh, the Malaysians looking momentarily confused. We're going up for a challenge. Did they find the line with the serve or not? Yes, they did. Well done. Perfectly measured. 16, 15. Pang Ron starting 15. to elevate his level. He's been much needed and he's doing it at the sharp end of this second game, which is very encouraging for Malaysian fans. Play. Oh. Oh, she Some didn't, did she? Didn't 16, do that. Seven. Service error at the wrong time. Guttural roar of approval there from the seeds from Indonesia. They needed that point. Very dictatorial. Twinning nicely. It's okay. Gloria's in control. Gloria. She's being ushered along. <laughs> Finding her chakras. There's a meditative 
quality about her pre-serve, isn't it? It's very deliberately serve ritual. Playlist. But uh, her opposite number wasn't quite ready. Umpire suggesting get on with it, please. Superb. What a oh. turnaround there Pencil. from Hu Pang Ron. Wasn't he quick? Weren't they both quick to 80. swivel that one on its Seven. axis? Here we go, right here. Look at that. Good coverage from Cha. And then fabulous close there as well. Electric footwork from the Malaysians. A blur of black and red at the top of your picture. It was a great turnaround that. Just when you thought that the, the Indonesians had the upper hand. Not so. Back to the court. So they're scrapping right now with everything they've got, commendably. They've been gallant. Can they find a way? Having done all that work against the Europeans, the French in the round prior, Jiquel and Del Rue, who themselves took out Jordan and Octavianti. Malaysians determined not to squander this massive opportunity in a super thousand level event. Come on, it doesn't get much bigger. defensive turnaround again flat hard drives nice soft touch it's all in there good awareness So a couple of solid points from the seeded duo here to bring parity back to game two. A sense of order. Opportunity to draw a level then from the younger of the two teams from Malaysia. Game point. about get on the bus in time they were running out of Second time game, but found a way who and Chai come through the second game 21 game points four. to 19 and level the scoreboard we're gonna go down the straight to a third and deciding game don't go anywhere
Well, it was looking like a lopsided match, wasn't it, for a game and a half. And then at 15-13, things Level. really started to turn. Four points in a row for the Malaysians, and they were activated, up and running. Now they really are back in business. A one-game shootout. So back to what was the troublesome man for the, the uh, Malaysians initially, only managing to accrue 12 points at this faster end, but will they settle a little quicker now, buoyed by the fact that they are actually into this match? Three, lock. Well, of course, good doubles, mixed men's, women's is all about twinning together at the right time. Can't have one of you playing well and the other not. Just a little lapse there from Cho ah. you see. Four lock. Gloria with just enough zing on the backhand. Indonesians were wheel spinning out of the car park in game three from the start, weren't they? Four points in a row. But then denied. Ah! Out. Every soul. Five. One. Familiar failings, isn't it? The court being a little too short for Hu Pang Ron, as it was in that opening game on numerous occasions. Well done. Service over. 
two, six. Done from who there in the front court. Lovely cross net from him. Five, seven. Very nice. Following up as well. Just to add to the intimidation factor, watch him here. Just so Gloria feels a little even more stifled and boxed in. No breathing room there. gone again Oops. for the Malaysian who off of that one but uh, three points adrift these two again but they like that kind of challenge seemingly as they were in game two normally a team would attempt to uh, put a little cushion or a buffer behind them at the faster end but it's almost like they prefer to be I don't prefer to be, but they struggle and seem to be struggling at the fast end. Good defense. Seven is sold. Six, eight. Gloria, right? Do you want to change? Okay. Well, you could see what he's trying to do. Looks up to the heavens as if to say, what happened there? Normally so good at driving the point from that situation. Wasn't the deepest of uh, liftaways. Just missed. Strength from who? Lovely reaction afterwards Seven, as well. He's really excited about that one. Really got hold of it right out the belly of the string bed here. Lovely contact. So sweet. Watch this. Rifles to its mark. It was arrow like in its flight path, that one. Judgment from Havis. Oh. 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 
Gloria doing well to intervene there. They, the Malaysians have done well because they've kept her relatively inactive in this game. Got around her a number of times really well, despite her big wingspan, the Indonesian. But there she could clamber all over that. Her feast giving her plenty of opportunity. slow up to that weren't they Gloria was uh, not across there in any Nine, hurry and ten. it cost them the point look at this did well but didn't quite follow up she I think there was just confusion in the camp you go and in the end Hupang Ron capitalizing in that indecision Well, again, the Indonesians, if they lose this, they'll be the architects of their own downfall. They've had a 6-1 lead in the early passage of Game 3, where they came out, well, as I said, wheel spinning out of, the, out of the blocks. And now, suddenly, they're pegged back to level. Ten points all. Who can get to the turn first? It's all got a little bit scrappy. And it is indeed the inspired, raucous... 11, who, 10, and Chuck that find a way through to the turn with an 11-10 lead after 53 minutes. Well, they look a bit uh, uh, forlorn, don't they, and downbeat the uh, Indonesians. They're really sort of wrestling with this match now, and they had an opportunity to really sort of close it out at the back end of game one. They didn't have game points, but these two have grown in stature, and suddenly now they're Left. roaring with every point that Ten. they win, feeling much better about their plight, who and Cha. Getting a, a few more runs of three points up together, the Malaysians, where for a game and a half all they could engineer was run of two. So things swiveling a little here in terms of momentum in favour of the younger team from Malaysia. An angry response from Hafiz. Muscling through there. Redeeming herself there after the uh, 
petulant sort of schoolgirl foot stomping after the last point. She managed to really get in, involved here. So again, it's a tough one to call this, isn't it? There's no gleaning who's going to be coming through as the victor. Show you see with the last laugh here. Really well done. Good stinging attacks from the backcourt from Hu Pang Ron. Allowing his partner to really intervene nicely. Well, can you believe it? Another string gone. 14, it's, uh, three or four rackets for who already this match. It's going to be keeping the uh, stringers busy in their den. Running nicely here, the Malaysians, good defence. And again, managing to get on the front foot with that nice backhand from Hu. seem to have oh. enough sting in their attacks do they these two yeah. suddenly out of nowhere they're at the faster end as well and, and they just look like they're at the slow end I mean it just seems a little odd because I didn't manage to get hold of that very well but uh, the Malaysians taking advantage there saw that he was out of position and, uh, well show you see his uh, fist pumping gloriously they've got parity again can they engineer another Big upset down in the Europeans yesterday. The French, rather, I should say. Jiquel and Del Rue were slayed by the Malaysians. What about the six seeds? Oh, that's bobbled over Seven from sold. Gloria. <laughs> A wry smile of frustration from Hupan Rong. Oh. 
And into the second hour we go. And again, I like it when he gets angry. 17-15. Just really assaulting the shuttle there. Nice change up. Clever angle. Well done. Keep going. You can get my dinner later if you like. service error whenever they sort of get on the front oh. foot suddenly the Malaysians so good at getting back to well getting back into touching distance can't seem to break away from these two tenacious youngsters Lady Luck going their way this time and they're jumping for joy after that point. It's really good energy from the Malaysians at this stage. You do sense that the seeded team from Indonesia need to get a little bit fired up because it's no good hoping. You've got to go out and create, make things happen at this stage and that's what these two are starting to do. Creating their own luck. Much better than Gloria Wajaya there, intervening with real penetration. Set the tone for the point nicely. Binding, wasn't it? Longest rally of the match. Wow. How about this? The point was swaying all over the place. Immaculate defense in the end from the Indonesians, but, well, not quite. Hu Peng Rong having the last laugh there. It was a terrific point, and shame either team had to lose it. But psychologically, that is a real bolster to the youngster dribbling after that one. I'm not surprised. They gave it their all, didn't they? Both teams. Wow, what a long buster. Back to the court. Oh, please, I'm um, just a little bit longer. <laughs> Without yeah, doing yeah. the bleep test and then somebody going, right, let's do it all over again. So the umpire uh, ushering the players back to court. Come on, Gloria, up you get. What a treat that was. Gloria, come here. Come here. You have to follow my instruction, okay? When I'm saying go to the back, back to the court, do it. Play. Well, I have. 
have they got what it takes to turn this one around they lost first round last week so they don't have any sort of match momentum coming in here really other than a couple of wins en route to the quarterfinals well done well it was worth breaking a string for wasn't it redlining at a couple of smashes there Fizal seen a lot of uh, strings broken in this match who has done about four or five rackets glorious certainly done one oh. well, looks like it's going to come down to the wire Play. well into the second hour seven <laughs> minutes have unfolded Absolutely pumped. 20 match point 19. Well done. Suddenly, on what's been a difficult day, these two from Malaysia, after a very slow game and a half or so, have now got a match point. Look at what it means to them. Hu Pang Ron and Cha Yi Si are surprise semi finalists. They cleared the path of Tom Jiquel and Delphine Del Rue yesterday Match in a straight game win. They've done the same today in three Yixi, tough games, 12, downing 21, the six seeds for Zalam Wajaya. It's Hu and Che of Malaysia through to the semi finals of a super thousand level event. <laughs> Delight all over their faces, and well done, guys. They were right up against it. It was a tense, scrappy, unconvincing performance from the six seeds, and they took advantage. 21-19 in the third. She had tears of joy in her eyes. Terrific. What a nice start to quarterfinals Friday. Don't go anywhere. We've got another nine matches to bring you. More mixed doubles after this. <laughs>